Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new moments Miles Turner gameplay. Shout out to my guy Coldworth for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. And if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 80,000 subscribers. Now, I do want to just kind of briefly say, expect Miles Turner's price to go down quite a bit tomorrow because I'm guessing tomorrow we'll get new NBA primetime players. I'm guessing uh, just new a new set of players. And I'm guessing these will translate to those new packs. So I'm guessing these players' price will go down by a decent amount tomorrow. So don't overspend for Miles Turner. If he ends up being a top big in the game, six foot 11, 86, three ball, six five driving duck, 92 block, 89 interior, 89 defensive rebounding, 72 speed, 73 lateral quickness. The 79 vertical is something that scares me just a little bit. 70 driving duck tendency, I think, is what I saw. Defensive tendencies, 90 contest shot and block shot tendencies, which you like to see. Four out favors. Catch and shoot, quarter specialist, rim protector, set shooter, 24 on gold, brick wall, post spin technician, chase artist, box, intimidator, rebound, chaser, pogo stick, worm blinder, sniper, hot zone hunter, green machine, volume shooter, as well as a silver post playmaker, and rise up. Badges I'd look to give a smiles, can get clamps, interceptor. Those defensive badges are solid, limitless spot up is one that I definitely don't mind either. Uh, unstrippable for a big man as well as Hustler. Probably the main badges that I'd look to apply to Miles Turner. Look at a Miles Turner here in Shootout. You guys can see hot spots. Definitely something that I like. I shot it early on my first shot with Miles Turner. Am I okay? Am I good with Miles? There we go. A couple of green lights in a row. Now we're starting to green a few shots with Miles. Current gen, next gen, the release looks pretty similar. I shot with him earlier on next gen. Right now, we are shooting on current gen, but release-wise, pretty smooth, pretty quick, honestly, for a pick-and-pop big. It's what you're really looking for because guys like a, let's let's give an example. Guys like the Kemba Mutombo hurt the fact that he doesn't have a quicker release. Miles isn't the quickest. It's not the quickest in the game. It's not going to be as quick as, you know, the Derrick Rose base, anything like that. But it's decently quick, and I feel like it's easy enough to time. It's not the quickest, though. I feel like it might be a little bit baited, in my opinion, but it's quick enough on next gen as well. So I think it's going to be just fine, easy enough to green, especially with his shooting badges. Attacking the Remy should be fine. The big thing is, how is Miles going to play on defense? I feel like this dude's a sweat. I feel like I've played him before. I don't know. We're just going to test out Miles Turner. I really don't care if I win or lose. This is this Miles world. Miles Turner is up against another top tier center in Anthony Davis here on Cringe, and we're just going to see how Smiles can compete. Let's just see. Going to put him in a lot of pick and pop, maybe pick and roll settings since I do have Steph Curry here. Let's just see. Okay, good screen set. I see you. End of big Miles. Pump fake. Okay, Miles. Look, I did everything right there, and you still didn't finish the job. Like, I literally did everything right, and you. Ooh. Okay. into him look whatever works miles you kind of got a weird catch for a bucket it doesn't matter how it looks just give me two points close isn't gonna cut it though i mean it's good defense you recovered pretty well but i don't know if close is gonna cut it for me my man thank you we finally got a fit a tough finish around the rim that's all i've been asking for speed wise can compete against guys like anthony davis i like that Chase down. Thank you, Miles. There we go. There we go. We're starting to move and groove. Thank you. We're starting to move and groove, and I'm loving it. Steph Curry from way downtown. I'm starting to like what I'm seeing. Starting to like it. Good. Drop coverage. Good. 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 Good, Miles. See, right here. Good. Forcing me. Force him to Miles. Force him to Miles. He's got nowhere to go in here. You just cheesed me badly. And Steph got my board. Oh, yeah, Miles. Run down the paint. Run down the paint, Miles. No way. No way you got that bad of an animation. I'll take it, though. He's halfway to take over, and I'm loving it. No way you left Steph. No way you left Steph Curry. You got to give that one up. Steph now has badge, and now... You're in for a long half. It's tough to guess right, though. I will say it's tough to guess right when people are trying to go up. Oh, 
Our first look at Miles Turner's release, it was quick. You're pausing me. Like, is it that deep to you? I'm just doing a gameplay. I didn't know it was that deep that you're pausing me. But, hey, man, to each is their own. Yeah, now what? Over and back? No. Step. Good. Good, Miles. Good, Miles. Thank you. That's good, Miles. No way. I'll step back. I thought I'd get a piece of that. That's tough. Run, Miles. Another easy bucket. He's got 11. In the pick and roll game, he's just getting easy buckets, easy opportunities. It's tough to be a rim protector and to guard Anthony Davis, right? We we know that. It's tough to do both. That's fine. You got sharp bags. Do what you got to do. You didn't jump at all. I see you. It's good defense. We got Miles Turner a quick rest, but he's back in the game. And the reason he's back in the game is because we're up 10. And I don't want this guy to quit without getting Miles a little more run. Because I still think a lot of his defensive attributes are still left untested, right? 6'11". I like his frame. Player build, not the widest, right? And that's maybe a little bit of an issue. I don't know. It's, it's subject to opinion. Board-wise, I just don't know about his rebounding ability either. Like, there's just a lot of things right now with Miles Turner that I just don't necessarily quite know about. Thank you. Finally, we got him a wide open look. And Miles Turner cashes in on those. I haven't greened a shot, but I do think he is 2 or 2 uh, from deep right now. Good. 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 Yup. Good. Step time. Chill. Miles time. Give me one. Miles early only because it was contested, huh? Green. Shot us slightly late on that one, my fault. We got to get back, though. Tell me why Steph Curry got two rebounds and Miles Turner got zero. Can y'all explain that? Just don't understand it. Steph gets my tough rebounds instead of Miles. Please, somebody enlighten me on why that is the way it is. And to him. That's an easy one. That's an easy one for Miles Turner. He's got 16 points. Most of it has been in the pick and roll. Defensively, he's doing enough. Not necessarily looking the best, but he's doing enough. That's good D. Guarding on the perimeter. Switching out on the smaller guards. I see you, Miles. Chill. Yeah, I don't know if I want to attack Melo. It's a big body screen. Into him. Ooh. No way you missed that, Miles. What is your post hook rating? Halftime box score for Miles looks better than he's played. Like, I mean, that's just the way it is. He's been outplayed by his opponent, Anthony Davis. Gotta have a good second half. Just play some defense, please. Thank you. Look at the Intimidator badge popping up. That's just Miles Turner for you. Thank you, Melo, for three. Thank you. You better get somebody to stop ball. Is that a blessed animation? Maybe. But that's just the gold Intimidator and Miles Turner effect. It just is. Yes, sir, Miles, you're starting to play a little bit better for me. Chill, 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 chill. Everybody just call me. Stop. Good pass. Good pass. Grant, that's a long two, but I'll take it. Got him up out of there. Miles Turner had a great start to that second half. For me, Miles Turner was okay. Now, when I say that, is Miles Turner as good as Anthony Davis? Well, let's compare them side by side. 6'11 to 6'10, 80. They basically have the same three ball. 80s release is better. Ball handling, 80s way better. Defensively, it's Anthony Davis too. Now, the only difference is the rebounding uh, kind of advantage that Miles Turner is supposed to have, but Miles Turner grabbed zero rebounds for me. So, how am I supposed to tell you guys that Miles Turner is better than Anthony Davis? I don't know if I can. If I can't say he's better than Anthony Davis, I surely can't say he's better than Chris Webber. Miles Turner's fine though. He is 6'11", so I think on next gen it's a little more important because he's not going to get mashed like a Chris Webber and AD might. I just don't know if he's worth the MT he's going to go for. I, I just don't. If you have Anthony Davis, you have Chris Webber, even Dikembe Mutombo, I don't even know if Miles Turner's just worth it. That's what I will say. There are a lot more that have been posted in the last 10 minutes than previously, so maybe he'll go for a decent price. And if I can get him for maybe a, under 100 k maybe I'll try him out again. But I wasn't the biggest fan of the car. It's gonna wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.